Hello everyone, this is Mr. West. We're gonna be going over the Khan Academy exercise dividing polynomials by linear expressions. Um, you guys can follow along with this video and then pause rewind. Uh, the problems are gonna be very similar to the ones that you guys are gonna have in your Khan Academy exercise. So follow along to the best you can and then you can apply the same principles to your own problems once you get there. Okay, so for this particular problem we have x cubed minus four x minus 15 divided by x minus three. So we're gonna start off by filling in the divisor. So in the house or inside the divide sign, we're gonna have x to the third. Now, this is the part that you need to be mindful of. You'll notice here that there is no x squared, it's missing. Okay, so we still need to account for that and we need to write that in. So I'm just gonna show you that we need to account for it by having this little box here and writing a squared. Okay, we need an x cubed, we need an x squared, we need x to the first, and we need x to the zero. So that's why we're going to count for it right there. So now I'm going to pick up where I left off. I got minus 4x. That's technically the first, so I have 3, 2, 1, and then minus 15, which is my constant. So now that I have it organized, you're going to see I have all of the x variables represented, all the de proper degrees. But of course, we just can't leave that blank inside the... Um, the box so we're gonna put a 0x there because that will be the same thing 0 times x squared is just gonna give us 0 which is why it ends up looking like that polynomial right there okay now with any polynomial division problem the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to start by let me change my color here dividing the x by the first term inside the, the divisor. So x cubed divided by x, okay? Now the way we think of this is, what do we need to multiply by x to give us x cubed, okay? So what times x will give us x cubed? And in this case, it is going to be, let me change it to purple, x squared, okay? So once we know that x times x squared will give us x cubed, Okay, we can move on, and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply, copy, paste, we're going to multiply this whole expression, x minus 3, by the thing we wrote up above the line. So we're going to multiply this whole thing by x squared. Okay, so of course we need to distribute here, and once we do that, we get x cubed minus 3x squared. Okay, what do we do with this? Well, we are going to move this and we're gonna put it underneath just like we do in normal long division, okay? So I'm gonna write minus, it's always gonna be minus parentheses. Get in the habit of writing minus parentheses. And now I'm gonna write x cubed minus three x squared there, okay? All right, next up, what do we do? Well, we just subtract and see what happens. Okay, whoops, my line got messed up there. Let me fix it. Okay, there we go. So now we're into the problem x cubed minus x cubed. Okay, this becomes zero. That's the whole point. We wanted that first degree, oh, well, this is third degree, that first term to disappear, and that's what happens. Now we have, well, you need to be careful because you have a subtraction sign in front of the parentheses, we have zero x squared minus a negative three x squared. That gives us a positive three x squared, okay? Once you get here, you know you've done something right because the, the first uh, term goes away, and then we can drop down the next term in line, which is a negative four, and I'm just gonna write the x, I don't need to write the, the first degree, the, the, first, the exponent to the one, okay? So I have three x squared minus four x. What do I do? Well, I go back to here, my x. How many times does it go into 3x squared? Okay, so obviously x times x will give me x squared, but I'm still missing the three coefficients. So I need to multiply this by a positive 3x. Okay, we can check that. Over here, x times 3x will give us 3x squared, okay? So now, I'm not going to show this step this time, but I'm just going to describe it. So we need to multiply, we need to multiply this whole thing, x minus 3, times 
positive 3x. And we're going to write that number here. Okay, and then we're going to subtract just like we did before. So let me go back. Okay, so I have do x minus 3 times 3x. That's going to give me 3x squared. Don't forget your minus parentheses. So 3x squared, that's the whole point. It needs to match. And then we have the minus 3 times the 3x, which gives us a negative 9x. Draw your line and subtract. 3x squared minus 3x squared. Zero. That's the whole point. You should be getting these zeros every time you subtract. Otherwise, you're not choosing the correct uh, coefficient at the top. Okay, so now we have negative 4x minus a negative 9x. That gives us a positive 5x. 5x. Be very careful with your subtraction uh, and with the parentheses and the negatives. Okay, that's common mistakes that people do. Once you're done, you're going to drop down the next term in line. In this case, it's minus 15. Okay, and what do we do? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to see, again, what do we need to multiply x by to give us 5x? Okay, in this case, this is the most simple. We just multiply x by 5, positive 5, to give us 5x. Once we do that, we multiply 5 times this whole thing, x minus 3, and put it there, just like we did before, twice. Okay, so we're going to write 5x, 5 times x is 5x, minus, because it's a negative 3, times 5, negative 15. Okay, draw our line. Subtract parentheses, don't forget that every time. 5x minus 5x, 0. Okay, that's what we want every time. Negative 15 minus the negative 15 is negative 15 plus 15 plus 0. In this case, there's nothing left to drop down, and we have nothing left. We have no remainder. This is the remainder. So our remainder is 0. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write our answer in x squared plus 3x plus 5. Okay, and if you do get a remainder, this is how you express it, especially uh, with this particular Khan Academy. You're going to do plus, and then whatever your remainder is, in this case, zero, over whatever you're dividing by. That's why it has this x minus 3 already in there for your template. So we're going to write x minus 3 right there. But since zero divided by x minus 3 is just zero, we don't need to include this in our answer, so we're just gonna write x squared plus five into our answer, okay? So let me go into Khan Academy. I'm gonna type that into here. I don't think that's my Khan Academy. My Khan Academy is here. So I'm gonna type that answer in. So I type in three x, don't forget my squared, plus, nope, oh, I think it was just x squared, wasn't it? x squared plus 3x plus 5. No remainder. Check that. What a satisfying sound. This has been Mr. West with Dividing Polynomials by Linear Expressions. Have a great day.